mandatory. <laughs> the word that comes to mind when I am nearing this day. As a pastor's child, I know that it is expected that I would share a reflection. As a pastor's son, it is mandatory obligation. <laughs> and yet, this is not the forum I am comfortable. I feel comfortable. I do not think of myself as a good public speaker or someone who has fully formed thoughts about much of anything that could help, that could, <laughs> that could be useful in worship. Due to my position as the middle-born of the pastor of this church, I naturally assumed that I would be up here this morning sharing with you my thoughts about my faith. It never occurred to me that my mom, to ask my mom if I had an opinion. I just dutifully told her I would. I wonder what she would have said if I did not volunteer to reflect. <laughs> would she use her Catholic Jedi mind guilt? <laughs> there, are th there are some things we may never know. I think that I probably represent a lot of people who are here today. We understand our faith on the inside, but, we really, but it's really hard to put it into words on the outside and share our faith with words that make sense to other people. It is hard standing up here. It is hard trying to, get my for, to form my thoughts into intelligible sentences that will make sense to all of you out there. I can guarantee that God is not calling me to be a preacher. <laughs> but I know for sure that there are plenty of other ways to do godly acts. I am confident that God gave me other gifts of service. God has provided me other ways to show my faith and to live my life every day. Paul tells Timothy that the letter, is to, the letter to not let other people look down on him because he is young. He is trying to affirm Timothy for who he is at, the, at that time in his life, giving him instructions about how to live a faithful life. I think Paul would tell me that, I, that it is okay not to be a good person not to like public speaking because it is not the only way to share way to share faith no matter our age background resources talents education physical attributes blessings and challenges everyone has something to contribute to the community of faith and the community at large for instance being young is is somewhat like a double-edged sword we have time and energy to get out there and make a difference but we still lack wisdom and respect I must confess, I am not even sure if I have ever uh, overtly shared my faith with anyone, but I have had many opportunities to make difference in others' lives through my actions. In fact, I have been drugged across this country and into other countries so many times that many of the works of charities I have been involved with seem to blur together. <laughs> many in our congregation play sports and or their kids ha play sports. And so you may know after a few seasons of the same sport, many of the individual moments of glory might meld together into, might begin to meld together into the big picture. Between my dad being a firefighter and my mom a pastor, service to others has been encoded into my DNA. Sometimes it is difficult to do what Paul is instructing Timothy to do because in reality, young people are not always encouraged to share their faith in the same way older adults are. Sure, I feel respected in our church, but in another church, I, not, I might not be as respected enough to share my thoughts because of my youth. Even though I am young, it does not mean I cannot have a mature, uh, I may not, I can't be mature about my faith. As teens, we often fantasize that the grass might be greener when you get older, or on the other side. But the grass is also green where you water. As, as, a, as a youth in this church has... As a youth, this church has watered my faith, and you have given me a robust, mature faith. A standout moment for me was in North Chicago several years ago when we were helping a Boys and Girls Club this summer or with their summer program. There was a student named Xavier, who was a fairly round little guy who became one of my buddies. I noticed that many of the staff at the club would call Xavier pork chop. Which did not, which clearly did not, which he clearly did not like. So I put it upon myself to speak up at a staff debriefing about name calling. I was rather forth, forceful in my defense, calling out staff members who were being so insensitive. To them, I was uh, an inexperienced outsider voicing my unwanted opinion. But I knew if I did not stand up for Xavier, no one else would. Some here today have been Xavier with no one to champion them. I, felt like, I have felt like Xavier at times, 
and I am glad that my faith and confidence were strong enough that day to stand up for what I knew was right. My faith has been watered by service experiences that have allowed me to watch my family go my faith has been watered by service experiences that have allowed me to watch a family go from living in a cardboard box or a car into a house that is not much larger than the stage in the fellowship hall I'm about to be roasted on. <laughs> I have witnessed a mom break down crying because we were going to give her four extra feet in her house. A house for a family of eight that is no bigger than the living room at my house. I, lived in the, I live in the tension and realize how much you can do for other people and the constant struggle inside myself to stop the raging monster that is consumerism. I could be someone who had nothing and yet I complain about not getting the iPhone 5 for my birthday or the MacBook Air with all the add-ons or the 2013 Camaro for my first car. <laughs> and then I look back on those people that I have helped, those without homes, without jobs, those without meals, those who have nothing and yet will give all they have to someone else with less. When I think about all the good people I have met who are poor in resources but rich in spirit, I am reminded of the story Jesus told his followers about the wealthy man who gave the church a portion out of his abundance and the poor widow who gave all she had with two pennies. Our faith teaches us that in our giving we may need to give all, that we have all who we are, not just a portion from our abundance, but instead sacrifice our wants for someone else's needs. Thank you, church, for watering my grass, for building my faith, and making it mandatory for that which I wish was optional. <laughs>